that the United States has fallen behind in the production of critical rare earth minerals used in everything from wind turbines to television screens. Now he joins us again on how a newly reopened mine in California is helping America take the edge back from China. Brian. Jim, this mine used to be bankrupt, the company Molly Corp. You bought it out of bankruptcy. You're a Chicago-based hedge fund manager. Why get involved with a rare earths mine really in the, in the middle of the California desert? Well, Brian, we're contrarian investors, and it's not very often in life that you can buy a world-class asset at a substantial discount to replacement cost. That also happens to be levered to one of the single greatest economic themes over the next 20 years, the electrification of the global economy, and at the same time also get to do something great for the country. Yeah, so, all these yeah. elements that we forgot from high school chemistry and yeah. geology, we don't talk about much. They are so vital. It's not the value of the industry, is it? It is the fact that if you want these magnets, if you want to have a Tesla, if you want to have an iPad, if you don't even have an MRI machine, you need the stuff that's in the ground underneath us. Absolutely. It's, it's not a huge industry. It's maybe only a few billion, but we power 700 billion in the auto supply chain downstream. And when you add up robots, drones, wind turbines, all of the advanced technologies of the future, it will be trillions of GDP. Uh, all reliant on these materials. So, so this used to be the global leader. I mean, this was this made this mine made the U.S. the leader. Effectively, every color TV screen in America for 30 years was powered by the elements here. What happened? Yeah. Well, so we used to lead in America for decades, and then uh, ultimately the Chinese recognized the importance of this material, um, and they utilized the cost of capital as a weapon, and they came into the industry and were able to run it uh, at a very low profit or neg at losses to take over the industry, uh, and so uh, that's where we ended up. Yeah. And yeah. China effectively controls 85 to 90 percent yeah. of the world market, but they do it, to your point, with, with government subsidies. They do it without any concern for the environment. A lot of the ways they refine these elements is environmentally unsound, if not actually dangerous for the human beings around it. So how do, how does, how do you, how does the U.S. rare earth industry compete? With that, right? Well, we, we have to compete effectively. We have to be better. And it's actually worse than that because today uh, we lose nearly 40% of our revenue in, in Chinese tariffs and VAT by shipping our product into China. Yeah. And so ultimately we need to compete, but it'd be nice to have a level playing field. Yeah, and, and, yeah. You, and you do ship your stuff there to be finally yeah. processed, refined, or whatever you want to call it. But this building behind you is the largest, one of the largest refining processing facilities in the world. You hope to get that up within a year. Yeah, by next year, we expect in this building behind you, as you just said, is the largest NDPR separation facility in the world. So you sometimes hear of people say that the U.S. doesn't have the capacity. We do. We have it. We are 15 percent of the rare earth concentrate market today, and we will be making separated products next year in this building. Do, do right you here. think that, uh, to wrap it up, do you think the capital markets are going to see what you're doing here? And Because if we want to build out this rare earth business in America, we need money. We're probably going to need you know, permitting, the government's got to be involved, but the private sector has to be involved. Do you think that you could set some kind of a model here that this might might be the launching yeah. point for something bigger? Well, absolutely. I think that we need we need to be economic. We need to outcompete. And so what we want is we want a level playing field. But then what we'd like to do is we'd like to move downstream. So we'll make separated rares in this building, uh, and then we'll move further down the line to ultimately make the magnets and move down um, downstream because that's so important for American industry. Because if we yeah. don't you know, 20 years ago, there were there were few rare earths in China, and there were no magnets. And now they have the rare earth industry and the magnet industry. The motors and the EVs are likely next, and I think that's when people will start to care. So we have to we have to figure this out.